Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Leroy Mann and today we've got a very special video. We've got my first ever resin statue that I've ever, ever bought, ever purchased. And this is it. And as you can tell, it is huge. It's ginormous. Um, so I've never unboxed a figure like this uh, on the channel or ever. Um, so you have to bear with me. I'll try to. I'll be moving the camera around most likely, showing um, close-ups of everything, trying to do it justice. But uh, we're just going to get started, I suppose. Um, I think it's at the top up here. Yeah, right here we go. So I'm just gonna have at it and hope most of it's on camera. <laughs> We're gonna open it here. And I'm sitting down, but I'm gonna to have to stand up. My head's gonna be off camera, but um, I can't really help that. <laughs> like, this is the only way I could really. It's the only way I could really come up with a good solution. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll give you a bit of background as usual. Oh, I bought this from Faber GK, the online seller. Okay, I want to come to this side, see if I can... See, I don't want to shake it like that. Um, so how's the... What's the best way of doing this? I wonder. If I could get a hand under both. Okay, we got it started. Um, I bought this from Favorite GK almost a year ago. I ordered it in August of last year. And it's just now arriving. But that's okay, you know. Um, this is Nezuko Kamado from Demon Slayer, if you didn't recognize her. I believe this is my Z Studios. What I'm remembering, anyways. Okay, we almost got... Okay, we got it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So this is a massive box. Um, Really nice box though, I, I like it. Now there it is one more time. A little bit closer up, I suppose. Uh, we're just gonna set that aside. Okay, so, man, this is in like a lot of pieces. <laughs> I did not think it would be this much. I definitely opened it upside down, by the way. Um, it seems to be well packaged. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the camera. Um, show you guys this. Uh, the angles may be a little scuffed in this video, but we'll get all this stuff in here. This is big. I mean, this is like probably bigger than I uh, was anticipating, but that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna Put the camera back over here if I can. I'm just gonna start taking some stuff out. This piece right here is, you know, like most definitely the base. This is so heavy, like oh my gosh. This is a this is um this is frightening. I'm just gonna open this up, pull it out. Wow, this is gorgeous. I mean, it really is. See if I can hold it up here for you guys. Like this looks amazing. Obviously the light's not hitting it very well right there, but this looks so good. Like so much better than 
than what you expect when you order something like this. So that's that. I'm not sure if there's stuff, I mean, I'm sure there's stuff in here sent, or it wouldn't be here. Yeah, I mean, that's something in there. Like there's something in all of these, in all of these holes. But I'm really wanting some type of instruction. So we may have to just figure this out together. And by together, I mean me talking to myself and you watch it later. Um, and this is this big tree branch, which you can tell is gonna go in this slot right here. I mean, we, I can figure that out. This is so nice. Like this is so just solid and sturdy. Um, I'm really impressed by it already. Wow, this is so huge. Like, holy crap. Let me hold that up for you guys. Like, this is big. Like, this is so much larger than I thought it would be. So, I'm actually going to kneel down for this. <sighs> She's got a big metal rod right here. Oh my gosh, I don't want to drop this so bad. You know, I'm thinking this may go first. I'm actually going to set this down. And I'm going to put Nezuko on first. Be real careful with that. Okay, so... I like Googled it. Galoo galoo. And this guy... He put the tree on first. Okay. Don't move. He put the tree on. Please don't. No. Let's just do this. Please do not fall. He put the tree on. And the Nezuko was turned like so sharply. Is this the play? Like that's hitting. This cannot be right. There's no way. There's no way you put this on first. There's no shot. There's no shot. Okay. Well, the problem could be arising because I'm kind of going from the wrong angle. It's got to be this angle. I don't. But I still don't believe you can do this by putting the tree on first. But in this little gap. This little thing is where it like goes in. But look, see, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's no way we're getting that peg in. By putting the tree on first. So I'm gonna take the tree off again. We're gonna put her inside. Okay. Now it's, it's all looking about right right now. So this tree has to. Then I have to turn this around. There's no way I can do it from there. This tree has to sit. Oh, oh. I think we've done it.
I think we've done it. But like to me, to me, my hair is going crazy. It feels like the tree isn't really like flush to the ground. I don't think it was before anyways. But I feel as if it's catching on as a couple. It's probably designed actually to push down on the Nezuko to hold it in place since there's only one one rod. So it's probably actually supposed to be like that. But it just I mean if I try to pull up on it, like the magnet is holding it down. So it's it's in contact with with the magnet, right? So, I think we can put the head on, I hope. I'm just going to grab the head. This should be simple, but who knows? Who really knows? Oh, shh. Okay, so I actually had it in pretty good the first time. For some reason, felt the urge to pull it out. Don't know why. We're going to have to try and get it back in there. That's in. That's in pretty good. Pretty good. So now we kind of just do the decorative pieces. Now I know this goes right here. Uh, I figured out where the flowers go. They go right here in this little hole. I think one goes... They just kind of sit there. They're not in... Um, like, they're not in very securely. They just literally rest right there. Uh, we can put our arm in, I think. That snaps right in. Did you see that? Sucked it right in there, that magnet. Okay. Now we have these. I kind of just... I think we just mess with them until they fit, honestly. But they all sort of fit. Anyway, I'm breaking a sweat dealing with this thing. I'm actually going to stand. Oh, I'm going to stand up here because I want the right ones where they need to go. So the big fat one, I think this is the big fat one. I mean, do you have to push that hard? Ah. And once you turn them the right way, they'll, I mean, they go on down. And that one's giving me some trouble, so that's probably not it. Ah, now this is an extra on it. So this one is this one. As I was saying, these kind of just rest. They just sit there. This, I have no clue where this goes. Um, but we... We will find it. Let's see. Is it down... Down below? Is it in here? No. On the back. This goes on the back right here. There we go. There we have it. I'm going to check one last time. Just to make sure. Ow, I stubbed my toe. Make sure we've got everything out. Pretty certain that we do. 
Um, you know, I was gonna put this in my Demon Slayer shelf right here. I reckon that's on camera, but this is not fitting in there. So it's gonna have to go up in one of these shelves somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to move this stuff and then we'll take a little closer look at the finished project. Or pro product, product. So I didn't show you, I didn't show you the bottom of the base. It's like, it's got a little art of zero two on it. And um, it also has the edition number, mine's number 46. I can't really show you now because, you know, it's all put together. So I can't really show the bottom, but um, you just have to take my word for it, I guess. It's not really that interesting, but I do think the, the edition number is kind of cool. But anyway. That's just the side note there. So, um, here it is. We got it put together. That was kind of strenuous. What's crazy is like, this isn't even like a very complicated like statue, like comparatively to some of the others that like Band Collectibles and Elite Collector and people like that unbox. Like this is not even, like not even close. Like this is, this is one, a one to six anyway like i think um you know like one fourth and stuff like that but that goes to show you how big this is like to me this feels like this just dwarfs like anything on this wall anything in this collection it feels like this is just um so much bigger and more grandiose i mean it is a lot more grandiose because you got the resin here you've got I know you guys probably can't really see really well from here, but I'm gonna pick this up and uh, show you guys in just a second. But yeah, I really love this. Uh, I knew I would, this is my first resin and resins are really expensive. Um, and they're really expensive mainly because of the shipping. Most of them come from China rather than Japan. Um, it's just where most of the resins are made. And, um, like, it costs a lot to ship, especially since the pandemic and all that stuff. This this costs a lot. Like, most of the statues, like, you, you're going to pay, like, probably, like, half of what you pay to, like, 50% of what you pay. But, all right, this is what I'm trying to say. Say it costs $200. You're probably gonna pay at least like a hundred <laughs> in shipping, you know, just because it's so expensive. And this actually took a while. It was it shipped on June the 11th, I think, and I just got it yesterday. Um, but like I said, it has to come overseas, and then it has to come, you know, through the through the U.S. and all that. They ship it to California, and then they ship it to me. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've never done a resin figure. Uh, I will probably do more eventually. You know, depends on how the wallet feels um, at the time. But honestly, I have a lot of pre-orders coming for not for resin, but for you know the normal normal figures. You know that I've been opening. I've got a lot of pre-orders coming up. That I'm gonna have to purchase or that I'm planning on purchasing. So I don't know about the resins. And the resins are also like really far out. You know, pre orders, they're usually like six months, like six months to a year. But resins are, they take a long time. Like from the time you purchase it, unless you purchase it like in stock, you know, like if you, if you buy an in stock one, but most resins sell out quick because they make such a limited, um, a limited size like you know just think about it there's only 288 of these right and i have one like you know that that's kind of cool to think about but uh you should know if you ever buy one you're probably gonna have to wait quite a while probably close to a year so six at least six seven months if you buy one on pre-order um but yeah i'm actually going to grab the camera I just broke my chair. I didn't break it, but it about dumped me in the floor. Um, 
I'm just going to grab this and give you a bit of a closer look. Hopefully this shot is going to be any good. Don't look at my cords over there. They don't look good. Okay. I don't know if this is focused. Is it focused? It doesn't look focused. Also blocking a lot. But, um, here she is. Here's her face. And this is what I really like. So this is, um, I'm not sure what material Nesco herself's made out of. I mean, maybe resin. But this clear resin is what looks so cool. Like, this stuff looks so good. Um, it looks really good. Like, I love... I'm blocking the light so bad. Um, I love like scenes like this. With like, with, you know, like you don't really get bases like this with, um, with figures that we normally get, you know. You don't get stuff like this. Um, But yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I can't really say much more about it. It looks great. I'm obviously going to say it looks great because this was a pretty big purchase. And if I didn't like it, um, I wouldn't have got it, you know. We can go ahead and put it in the cabinet somewhere. Maybe I can show you the bottom, too, from here. Probably not. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. You can kind of see it. I can't click the camera right now to focus it. But anyway, that's what the bottom looks like. And that's all we're going to show. Because I don't want to flip it upside down. I really don't. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I don't know if I can even put this in here. Like, can I even close it right there? No, I can't close my door that way. And there's no light hitting it whatsoever. Um, look at the difference. I just look at this. That's the Albedo. This is probably my tallest figure by far. That Albedo right there. And then just look at this. This just completely dwarfs the whole thing. I have no clue... Uh, where I'm going to put this. That right there is probably not as good as we're going to get right now. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to order more resins, I'm probably... If I can even close it, let's see. Okay, I can barely close it like that. Just barely. That is an awful place to put that, isn't it? I should probably put it in the corner somewhere, but right now I'm going to leave it right there. Um, and I'm going to end the video here. I don't know if she's still in the background or not from here. But uh, I'm going to end the video. Um, I'm going to have to do something and sort this out because I really don't like the way it's sitting right now. Uh, I might have to put it, like, not in the cabinets for a little while until I maybe get a bigger one. A deeper one for bigger figures and stuff. Um... But anyway, if you like the video, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. We're currently on the currently on the goal to 200 subs. Um, if you want to have a chat with me or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment. Or you can join the Discord below for notifications whenever I upload a video. Things like that. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. Uh, thank, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.